ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hi, you've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you a little later than usual after quite a night we had across central Alabama. But today, the Skycam images show you a different picture as we look over Decatur. Uh, a few puffy, low cumulus clouds, uh, but I doubt that they'll develop into anything today. Chiha showing something quite similar with uh, some definitely some capped cumulus. But Clanton, oh man, look at that clear sky down there. Oh, maybe just a couple of little clouds. The uh, surface low has uh, reached the uh, Ohio River Valley and is uh, dragging a front through the southeastern U.S. and it looks like our weather is over for a couple of days. At 500 millibars overlaid on the water vapor imagery, we have uh, quite a strong closed low over uh, Illinois and Indiana with the trough uh, extending down across the southeastern U.S. Temperature-wise, the U.S. pretty mild right now. Notice that uh, at this hour, temperatures in the 80s along the Gulf Coast. But it will be a little bit cooler uh, for today and tomorrow, plus a little bit of wind. Notice on our surface map here that uh, temperatures around 70 across much of central Alabama. And the winds uh, out of the west at uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour with a few higher gusts. I notice up there at uh, Muscle Shoals they had a gust of 32, so a bit uh, breezy. Here's a look, uh, closer look at the visible satellite imagery. And, of course, if you're in the southern two-thirds of the state, looks like you're going to see lots of sunshine. More rain in store, and that's uh, the midweek system. We'll be talking about that in just a minute. Storm Prediction Center outlooking an area for slight risk from the mid-Atlantic states all the way down across northern Florida. And uh, days four and five, I believe those are Wednesday and Thursday, are looking as uh, possible days for severe weather. And again, we'll talk about that. This is the 12Z GFS model run. Here is the 500 millibar pattern for uh, Monday afternoon. And you can see our bowling ball of a, a low uh, off the mid-Atlantic states now. And uh, that there goes our surface low out to sea. And, of course, uh, great weather for us. As we come under a ridge, and that great weather extends into uh, Tuesday. And in addition to that, notice that the moisture is beginning to advance up across Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana ahead of the next system. And here comes the next system, uh, pretty strong across central Canada, but we've got a, uh, a nice short wave, a couple of nice short waves, uh, one over Texas and one over northern Mississippi. And uh, that will be responsible for a surface low in south Texas and also looks like good moisture and a warm front coming up into the southeastern United States. And again, this is a Wednesday afternoon. By Thursday, uh, the, the low has tracked on a uh, east-northeast track and is now off the coast of North Carolina. By uh, uh, Friday, uh, we see that the front dragged along the Gulf Coast. Uh, and with the southwesterly flow aloft, it looks like uh, there is going to be a bit of a wet period. I noticed yesterday it looked like the wet period would be uh, for us. Now it looks like the front may drag a little further to the south and be the focus uh, with that southwesterly moist flow, uh, be the focus for some weather. By uh, Saturday at 7 p.m., uh, we've got a, quite a strong northwesterly fetch, so it looks like we may see a little bit cooler air. Uh, thickness is not showing a great change, but it's certainly the possibility for uh, a little bit cooler air, and we can always use that. And ending up here on uh, next Sunday, a week from today, and in the afternoon, we still got the trough over the east coast, and that keeping things uh, rather dry for us, although it's showing a little bit of moisture and the possibility. I think that's going to be more clouds than actual rainfall, so another another great weekend coming up for us. Uh, going out into voodoo land, uh, not a whole lot to talk about, but I see another good system showing up. Uh, yesterday, it was showing up around the 22nd, 23rd. Now, it's showing up around the uh, 20, uh, 23rd, so just a little bit later, and uh, that... Uh, upper system responsible for a uh, nice uh, batch of rain across uh, the eastern part of the country. And of course, with the drought situation, we can certainly use it. I want to thank all the folks at Buck Creek Festival. I uh, had a great time Friday evening and again on Saturday. And uh, quite a night last night, lots of storm reports, uh, a little interesting adventure uh, doing some night chasing. Appreciate you tuning in. James will be back tomorrow with the next uh, edition of the uh, Weather Extreme video. In the meantime, certainly hope that you enjoy today's weather and the upcoming week. God bless.